Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's dive into the beauty of the Philippines. The Philippines boasts of approximately 7,640 islands, 2,000 of which are inhabited, forming a captivating archipelago. The country is segmented into three prime areas, Luzon, the largest northern region, a cluster of islands known as the Visayas, the central part comprising major islands like Panay, Negros, Cebu, Bohol, Leyte, Samar, and Masbate, and Mindanao, the second largest and the southern division of the Philippines. The Philippines offers a diverse palette of experiences from vibrant cities to enchanting beaches and mountains. For those adventurous souls seeking to experience the Philippines' charm, here are a few handy tips, tricks, and resources. Manila, known as the Pearl of the Orient, is the nation's capital city. This bustling historic city is full of things to see and do, including museums, parks, theaters, shopping malls, and a plethora of restaurants to choose from. The Philippines is quickly becoming a destination for foodies, and Manila is well known for its varied cuisine and street food markets, like the Legazpi Sunday Market, Quiapo Market, and the country's very own Chinatown in Binondo. Sustainable Travel Tip Many street vendors sell fresh fruit drinks great for cooling down on hot days, so bring your own metal straw and reusable bottle to prevent unnecessary plastic waste. Davao City Davao is considered the largest city in the Philippines by size and capital city of the Davao region. Davao City is a great getaway. Popular destinations include Eden Nature Park, a mountain resort perfect for relaxation, Malagos Garden Resort, a 12-hectare nature theme park that features the first chocolate museum in the Philippines, and Jack's Ridge, a dining destination with a spectacular view of the city. Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines and a mountaineer's dream, is also in Davao City. Its highest point reaches an elevation of 2,954 meters, 9,692 feet. Davao is also known as the home to the critically endangered bird species, the Philippine eagle, also known as the monkey-eating eagle which was named as the National Bird of the Philippines. Cebu City A perfect balance of island coast and cosmopolitan living, Cebu City is one of the Philippines' top destinations among both foreign and domestic travelers. It's also the country's oldest city and one of the birthplaces of Christianity in the Philippines. Just outside the city's borders, tourists can enjoy swimming with a variety of species off the coast of the island, or they can try more adventurous activities like canyoneering at Kawasan Falls. Vegan City Dating back to the Spanish colonial era, Vegan sits on the western coast of the island of Luzon near Manila. Historic Vegan is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is full of unique architecture reflecting a fusion of Asian and European design and cobblestone streets. Sustainable travel tip, bring along an eco bag when you visit the small shops of Vegan to reduce the need for a plastic bag. Panglao Island, Bohol the main gateway to the province of Bohol, Panglao Island to the southwest is a 20-kilometer-long limestone island known for its popular diving spots. You'll also find many white sand beaches like Alona, Tawala, Dumaluan and Doljo, all accessed via the newly built Panglao Bohol International Airport. Panglao houses some of Bohol's premium accommodation establishments offering five-star amenities and services. The island also serves as the jumping point for other water-based adventures, such as dolphin and whale watching at Pamalakan Island and diving at Balakasag Island. Sustainable travel tip, look for sunscreens labeled Reef Safe, which are formulated without ingredients that can be toxic to coral reefs and marine life. El Nido, Palawan El Nido, part of Palawan Island, has white sand beaches, limestone cliffs, coral reefs, and clear, fish-filled waters so it's a popular spot for swimming, diving, and kayaking. El Nido serves as a jumping-off point for island hopping and exploring the secrets of the Bakuit Archipelago. Camiguin Island, Camiguin known as the island born of fire, Camiguin is a pear-shaped island with seven volcanoes that formed many of its unique attractions. The island is full of natural wonders, including lagoons and lakes, cold, hot, and soda springs, pristine waterfalls and white sand beaches on par with the finest in the country. Siargao Island, Surigao del Norte. If surfing is more your style, this lesser-known location, near the island of Mindanao, is renowned for its quality waves, cool island culture, beautiful reefs, blue waters, and stunning resorts. Sustainable travel tip, visiting lesser-known spots such as Siargao doesn't just mean fewer lines and better selfies, but a decreased impact on the environment. Kalawit Island, Palawan Kalawit Island, known for the crystal-clear waters off its shores, offers eco-tourists the chance to swim with dugongs, 
These animals, which are related to manatees, are believed to have inspired legends about mermaids. Locals on Kalawit Island lead conservation-minded tours and teach tourists about dugongs and how they can help ensure their continued survival. Sustainable Travel Tip To ensure the sustainability of the ocean ecosystems, please do not touch the corals. Local vendors have a wide selection of souvenirs. Chocolate Hills, Bohol On the island of Bohol, the famous Chocolate Hills look like something from another world as they seem to tumble out, one after another, for as far as the eye can see. The beautiful landscape is actually a natural formation that slowly took shape over eons. In the summer, when the one, 200 plus peaked and rounded mounds aren't covered in green vegetation, they're said to look like, you guessed it, chocolate. The majestic Chocolate Hills has been designated as a national geological monument by the Philippines. Banaue Rice Terraces, Ifugao. The Banaue Rice Terraces are another example of the beautiful landscapes that can be found throughout the Philippines. The mountains of the Ifugao province have been cultivated for thousands of years with terraced fields where rice is farmed. Not only are the rice terraces beautiful to behold, but they're also an example of industry working in harmony with nature. The Philippines is home to more than 30 national parks. Kalawit Safari Park, Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, Aurora Memorial National Park, Biaknabato National Park, Karamoan Peninsula National Park, Libman and Caves National Park, Mounts Iglit Baco National Park, Fuyo Springs National Park, and Minalungao National Park. These parks offer activities like zip lining, boating, camping, hiking, river cruising, wildlife spotting, snorkeling, and kayaking. Sustainable travel tip. There are dedicated companies that specialize in ecotourism and resources such as Simply Philippines to help make sustainable adventure more accessible. Travel requirements. Foreign travelers will need a valid passport, and for some do not need to secure a visa to visit the Philippines. Please check before coming. The World Health Organization recommends the following vaccinations for traveling to the islands. Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Typhoid, Cholera, Yellow Fever, Japanese Encephalitis, Rabies, Meningitis, Polio, Measles, Mumps and Rubella, MMR, Tdap, Tetanus, Diphtheria and Pertussis, Chickenpox, Shingles, Pneumonia and Influenza. When to go the high season for tourism is December to April. The Philippines is a tropical country and the hotter, drier months, 85 degrees Fahrenheit and up, are March through June. July through October brings the potential for typhoons. The cooler season runs from November to February, when it remains at around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The further south you go, the more humid the weather gets, and rain showers are likely regardless of the season. Sustainable Travel Tip Don't purchase travel-sized toiletries in plastic bottles. Instead, use refillable containers or look for packaging-free alternatives like shampoo bars. You can also find multi-use products like Castile soaps that can be used for washing your hair, body and even clothing. What to pack? Bring lightweight, comfortable clothing, swimsuit. If you plan on heading to the beach or doing any boating or diving, a pair of sunglasses as well as rain gear, and make sure to bring comfortable shoes like sneakers or sandals. A waterproof bag can be helpful for keeping electronics like phones and cameras. Sunscreen and a mosquito repellent that contains DEET are must-bring items. Sustainable travel tip. It always helps to bring your own reusable bag or bag for life along with your backpack to prevent additional plastic waste. Getting around most people traveling to the Philippines from around the globe will probably fly into Manila's Naya Airport or the more recently opened Mactan Cebu International Airport, which was named the Asia Pacific Medium Airport of the Year in the Kappa 2018 Asia Aviation Awards for Excellence. If you want to go to multiple islands, you can find flights that connect to smaller airports throughout the Philippines. Traveling by boat is also an option when getting to many of the islands in the region. If you're in one of the major cities, jeepneys, small and colorful buses, are a popular way to get around. Currency The Philippine peso is the official currency of the Philippines. Each peso consists of 100 centavos. Bills and coins are used in the Philippines. It's easy to exchange money at a shopping mall and travelers' checks are usually accepted for money exchange. ATMs are readily available in the major cities, but if you're traveling to smaller islands or more remote areas, it's a good idea to stock up on cash before your arrival. Credit cards are accepted in the bigger cities and more populated beach areas. Keep your small change for paying jeepney and tricycle or tuk-tuk drivers and street vendors. Sustainable Travel Tip Consider donating your leftover currency at the end of your trip to a local charity dedicated to cleaning beaches or preserving wildlife, language, and culture. 
Filipino and English are the official languages of the Philippines. The Philippines is an ethnically diverse country, and was a Spanish colony for 300 years, so more than 150 languages are spoken in the region. Tagalog, Filipino, is a national language. The dominant religion in the Philippines is Catholicism, and churches abound throughout the country. The older generations in the Philippines tend to be quite religious. You will find churches like the Manila Cathedral are common throughout the Philippines where Catholicism is the dominant religion. But for some especially the new generations, they shifted to the other denominations of Christianity. You might want to purchase travel insurance before heading out on your adventure to the Philippines. Check with your country or embassy for the latest information on any current travel advisories. As with travel to any foreign region, make sure to remain mindful of personal safety at all times. It's considered polite to use respectful terms like sir or ma'am or madam. Familiar words like Tito and Tita, uncle and aunt for elders, Lolo and Lola, grandfather and grandmother, Kuya and Addy, older brother and older sister can be used. The words Po and Opo are terms of respect. Don't refer to older people by their first names. Always be friendly and wave back at anyone who waves to you. Tipping is not mandatory but is appreciated so much by the Filipinos. Don't lose your temper or be confrontational. Do not refuse food or hospitality when it's offered to you. Don't walk alone, particularly at night, and keep your belongings close to you at all times. Never insult the Philippines or Filipino people. Above all, it's good to have at least a local friend or group of local friends but always with caution. In the spirit of saying goodbye in the Filipino language, palam to all our viewers. We hope this guide has given you a taste of the vibrant, diverse, and incredibly welcoming country that is the Philippines. The country offers a unique blend of cultures, traditions, and landscapes that is sure to leave every traveler with unforgettable memories. Remember that the best way to truly appreciate the Philippines is to immerse yourself in its culture, respect its customs, and engage with its people. Filipinos are known for their hospitality, and there's no doubt that you'll be welcomed with open arms. As we wrap up this guide, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of the Philippines. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends, so they too can learn about this beautiful country. Stay tuned for more travel guides, and until then, safe travels everyone. Palam!